everyone you are welcome to solve this nice square root math problem which is the square root of 3 to the power of x multiplying by square root of 9 to the power of x multiplying by square root of 81 to the power of x this is equal to 81 so what is the value of x given that x is not equal to 0 so let's provide a solution from here now we can apply two methods to solve this Let's start with method one, method one. So we have the square root of three to the power of x multiplied by square root of nine to the power of x multiplied by square root of 81 to the power of x. This is equal to 81. The first step is to square both sides so that we can eliminate the first square root sign here and this implies that we have 3 to the power of x multiplied by square root of 9 to the power of x multiplied by square root of 81 to the power of x this is equal to 81 raised to the power of 2 again the next step is to square both sides so that now we have that 81 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 here. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n multiplied by m. Now, and therefore, from here, we have 3 to the power of x, again raised to the power of 2 multiplied by, now we eliminate the second square root sign. So we have 9 to the power of x multiplied by square root of 81 raised to the power of x. This is equal to, now here we have 81, this is 81 raised to the power of 2 times 2, which is 4. The next step again, we have that 3 to the power of x to the power of 2. This is in this form which you can transform into the, in the form of a to the power of n times m. So we have 3 to the power of 2x multiplied by 9 to the power of x multiplied by square root of 81 to the power of x. This is equal to 81 to the power of 4. So again, let's square both sides so that now here we have 3 to the power of 2x raised to the power of 2 multiplied by 9 to the power of x raised to the power of 2 10 times now we can eliminate the third square root sign here so that we multiply with 81 raised to the power of x this is equal to 81 raised to the power of 4 times 2 which is equal to 8 now the next step is that here we have 3 to the power of 2x times 2. This is 4x multiplied by 9 to the power of x raised to the power of 2. This is 9 to the power of 2x multiplied by 81 to the power of x. This is equal to 81 to the power of 8. The next step is that we can express 9 basically as 3 to the power of 2. And we can express 81 as 3 to the power of 4. Now substituting this, then we have 3 to the power of 4x multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2x, then multiplied by 3 to the power of 4 raised to the power of x. This is equal to 3 to the power of 4 raised to the power of 8. So this implies that here we have 3 to the power of 4x multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 times 2x. This is 4x multiplied by 3 to the power of 4 times x, which is 4x. This is equal to 3 to the power of 8 times 4, which is equal to that 2. So we have that 3 to the power of 4x times 3 to the power of 5x times 3 to the power of 4x. This is in the form of a to the power of m times a to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n 
plus m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 3 to the power of 4x plus 4x plus 4x. This is equal to 3 to the power of 32. So this implies here we have 3 to the power of 4x plus 4x. This is 8x plus 4x. This is 12x. This is equal to 3 to the power of 32. Now we have that the bases are common here and this implies that a to the power of n this is equal to a to the power of m. This implies that since the bases are common then exponent n is equal to m. Now from what we have here we have that 12x this is equal to 32. So let's divide both signs by 12. By 12. Now let's simplify here. We have that x is equal to that's 2 over 12. So we can divide here. Let's let's uh, divide by 4. 12 divided by 4, this is 3. Then that 2 divided by 4, this is 8. So we have here 8 over 3. So this is the value of x by applying method 1. So let's apply method 2. Now for method 2, given this problem here, we have that the square root of a, this can be expressed as a to the power of a half. We can also express that the square root, square root of a, this is the same thing as a to the power of a half, this to the power of a half. We can also express the square root square root square root of a this is the same thing as a to the power of a half raised to the power of a half and again raised to the power of a half so applying this property here then we have the first one here is 3 to the power of x then raised to the power of a half multiplying by 9 to the power of x then raised to the power of half. Remember here we have two square root signs here. So raised to the power of half and then raised to the power of half. Then multiplying by 81 is under 3 square root sign here. We have 1 square root 1, 2, 3. So this means that we multiply with 81 raised to the power of x then raised to the power of half raised to the power of half and last 3 raised to the power of a half so this is equal to 81 so this implies here we have 3 to the power of x times a half this is the same thing as x over 2 then multiplying by here we have 9 multiplying by that is a half times a half this is 1 over 4 so we have x over 4 then multiplying by 81 raised to the power of x times a half times a half times a half this is 1 over 8. So this is x over 8. This is equal to 81. The next step is that we can express 9 as 3 to the power of 2 and 81 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 4. So this implies that we have 3 to the power of x over 2 times 3 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x over 4 multiplying by 3 to the power of 4 raised to the power of x over 8. This is equal to 81. The next step is that we have 3 to the power of x over 2 multiplying by... Now let's simplify here. We have that 4 divided by 2. This is 2. So we have 3 raised to the power of x over 2. Then multiplying by 3 to the power of, now we have 4 times x of 8, so let's simplify here, let's divide by 4, 4 divided by 4 is 1, then 8 divided by 4, this is 2, so we have x over 2, this is equal to 81. Now, we have here, 3 and 3, you see that we have, the bases are common here, so this is in the form of a to the power of n, times a to the power of m, which can be expressed as a to the power of n, plus m. So this implies we have 3 
to the power of x over 2 plus x over 2 then plus x over 2 this is equal to 81 which is 3 to the power of 4 so here we have 3 to the power of now the LCM here is equal to 2 so we have 2 divided by 2 this is 1 times x this is x then plus 2 divided by 2 is 1 times x this is x then plus 2 divided by 2 is 1 times x is x so this is equal to 3 to the power of 4 so this implies we have 3 to the power of x plus x plus x this is 3x over 2 this is equal to 3 to the power of 4 now we have 3 to the power of 3x over 2 this is equal to 3 to the power of 4 since the bases are common here that is a to the power of n this is equal to a to the power of m and this means that n is equal to m now from here we have that 3x over 2 this is equal to 4 so let's multiply both signs by 2 over 3 multiplying by 2 over 3 so that now we have that x is equal to 4 times 2 this is 8 over 3 so this is the solution this is the value of x by applying method 2 so both method 1 and method 2 gives us the same value of x gives us the same value of x so kindly follow the steps like this video and kindly subscribe see you in the next video